Hi everyone, this is Chris at Chris Marino Design, and in this video, we will be creating pop-up windows in Adobe InDesign and exporting the document as an interactive PDF. Pop-up windows are another great way to spice up your PDFs and also allow additional content to be displayed when there is no more real estate left on the first layer of the document. I hope this technique can be beneficial for your design documents as well. All right, let's get to it. All right, I have the Navigation Tabs document open that we created in the last video. If you haven't checked that video out, the link is in the description below. And I just renamed it Pop-Up Windows Project. Now let's go to the second page, which is section one, and that's where we'll be adding the pop-up window. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, grab my ellipse tool, click on the artboard, and we're going to create an ellipse that's 0.75 all the way around. Hit OK. And I'll change the color to the default cyan in Adobe InDesign. I'm going to drag it to the bottom left corner and snap it to the second column of the text box. Also going to add a text wrap. And 0.125 inches all the way around is perfect. Now I'm going to place an icon. I have a phone icon for this example. This pop-up window I'm creating is going to be a quick reference to a few important phone numbers. So I wanted a phone icon. You could use any icon you want. And holding Option, I'm going to drag the box in on each side and then holding shift command and grab corner just bring the size down a bit to match the circle shrink the icon just a little more and center it, the blue circle, perfect. I want to click on the phone icon, hold shift, click on the circle, and then command G to group them. All right, we have our phone icon circle. Now let's create some elements for the actual pop-up window itself. Go to the Polygon tool, click on the artboard, let's try 0.5, and three sides is perfect, so I want this to be a triangle, and this is just going to be a little accent on the side of a pop-up bubble, or the pop-up window. I want to make it the same cyan color, holding shift, I'm going to rotate, and I'm going to center it with the circle icon, and holding shift, I'm just going to tap the left arrow once, and that's perfect. Now grab rectangle tool, click on the artboard. And this rectangle, let's try 1.5 all around. Enter. Use the same cyan color. And I'm just going to position this, drag it to the side of the triangle, and then down to our guide. Perfect. Now I'm going to add another triangle, I mean another square, sorry, to the back of this pop-up window. And I'm going to make it white. And I'm going to move it backwards, all the way to the back actually, by sh holding shift, command, left bracket. I'm going to grab my text box and do the same thing. Shift, Command, Left Bracket, move the text all the way to the back. I'm 
And what that does is just give this pop-up window, just hides some of the text. And I'll actually bring it up a little more to give kind of a nice border around this pop-up window. So it's not running into the text. And let's create one more circle. Make this 0.25 all around. Change the color to black. And this is gonna be our close button. All right, I'm gonna Command S to save progress we've made so far. Let's start adding some, some text. Create a text box. This is where I'll add the phone numbers. So contact one. Just gonna make something up. Contact two. Just copied and pasted it a few times to make three contacts. I'm going to Command A to highlight all the text, and I'll use Arial. For this example, use 11 point, and I'll make the contacts bold. And drag this over, line it up to the top left of my box, and then holding shift, I'm going to tap the right arrow once, and holding shift again, I'm going to tap the down arrow once. Drag this text box a little lower on the bottom. Command A, highlight all the text and we'll make it white. Now I'm going to add some space before the contact to want to delete that, hit return to make sure it's on its own line. Same thing with contact three, make sure it's on its own line. Then we'll go back, hit space before. And 0 0.0625 is fine. Do that same for contact three. Move this in a little. All right, we have our contact numbers. Got the text tool one more time, and the close button needs an X. So we'll add that. Be Arial Bold. I'm going to center it. Drag that up to the close box circle. Change it to white. I'm going to click on the X, hold shift, click on the black circle, and command G to group them. Now for this, I want to click on the contact info text box, click on the cyan box, cyan triangle, and then the white box in the background, and I'm going to group all that, command G. All right, so now we have our, our three key elements. We have the phone icon, we have our contact box, and we have a close box. So now let's make these interactive. Click on the phone icon, 
we are going to make this a button. We are going to rename this button phone icon. Hit return. Click on the contact information. We're going to create a button from that too. I'm going to rename the button contact info. Hit return. And we're going to click on the last group of elements, create a button, and this is going to be the close button. Hit return. All right, now we just need to assign some actions to a few of these buttons. So we'll click on the phone icon button. We want to make sure this is checked to keep it printable. We're going to assign some actions on release or tap. We are going to show hide buttons and forms. Now the visibility panel right here has all our three elements, all our three buttons we created. So when a user clicks on this phone icon button, we want the phone icon visible, we want the contact info visible, and we want the close button visible. We want to make sure all three buttons are visible. It's perfect. Let's click on the artboard. Now let's click on our contact info button. And for this button, we don't want this button printable, and we want it hidden until triggered. So this first button is going to trigger this second button, this contact info button. And that's all we need. We don't need any actions assigned to this button. Click on the artboard. Let's assign, assign some actions to the close button. Now we don't want this button printable either. We want this button hidden until triggered because this first button is gonna trigger this button as well, close button. And now we need to assign some actions, show hide buttons and forms, to the close button because once a user clicks on this close button we want the close button to disappear and we want this contact info button to disappear and we want the phone icon to remain where it is. So the phone icon will remain visible. Now we want to turn on the contact info, turn on the close button info, and then we want to hide the visibility on both of those buttons. And that's it. Let's file, export. We are going to export the same way we did our navigation tabs document as an interactive PDF. Hit save. The default options in the dialog box should work fine. Let's hit export. Let's go to the second page, section one page. And this is where we have our pop up window. Click the phone icon. opens up the pop-up window, click the close icon, contact info button, and the close button disappear, but the phone icon is still there. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video.